Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is Gogo here from Zhuhai, China. Today I brought you the Neo ES8. This is one of the best example of Chinese made electric vehicles. This week Neo just delivered its number 100,000 vehicle in China. And this Neo ES8 is the number 4478 Founders Edition. So today let's have a look at this very first news vehicle. So to begin with, let's talk about the basic statistics of this car. It is a huge car, it's a 7-seater SUV, it's a little bit over 5 meters long, moreover, and it's very powerful. It has about 653 brake horsepower, 850 newton meters of torque, so it can go from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in only 4 seconds and it's the fastest new production car right now. And it's equipped with a 70 kilowatt hour battery from CATL, and based on any DC estimation, it should go from 0% to 100% in about 355 kilometers. And it takes about 0.8 of an hour to charge it by fast charging station to 100%. And moreover, Neo can also support battery swapping uh, technologies, which I will mention later. And today, I also bring a very special guest, who is also the owner of this Neo ES8. I will have an interview with him, and let's discuss about the good and the bad sides of a Neo. Before moving into the interior, let's have a look at how this door handle works. When you want to get inside the car, you press it and it'll pop it out automatically and you can open the door. This is a much better design than Tesla Model 3 and Model Y, isn't it? Much more convenient. So let's now move inside the car. So now let's talk about the interior design. We have two big screens here. The first one is for driver, right? For Teslas, we don't have this kind of design anymore. And for this central screen, this is the smaller version of the screen. Actually, the new Neo, they have a bigger screen, but the function is basically the same. And uh, the responsiveness and the resolution of the screen is perfect it's good for a smart EV and uh, this car is highly equipped it has some very high spec the material used in this car is very good every place you can touch is covered by leather of course leather seat as well and uh, we need to pay attention to this small little thing here so its name is Nomi this is the smart virtual assistant of this car. Unlike any other EVs, Neo actually virtualizes this smart assistant for you. And you can have certain interactions with Nomi. This is a very special character of all the Neos. Of course, this is an option, but I think most Neo owners will select this as an option. It is really cute. And when you call its name, it can make respond to you. Hi, Nomi. Hi. Today, Hi, Nomi. I'm at. I'm at. I'm at. I'm at. 现在来听听CNR音乐之声吧。Let's uh, talk about the driving position here. The seat is really wide and comfortable and also soft as well because it's a huge uh, SUV. There's nothing to complain about the space here. It's a lot. There are also many space for you to put your storage here. Uh, we have a big cup holders. 
here say where is charging port. You can just put your mobile phone here and you can stay secure during driving. No problem with that. And here's also big space inside here. And uh, also because there's an EV, there's no automatic gearbox here. You can put your small bag and your personal belongings here. It's a large space inside the car. But there is no glove box in this car. We can have a look here. No glove box. The reason why there's no glove box is because the seat for the passenger side in the front is actually called the queen's seat. Now let's have a look what is the meaning of queen's seat. I'm sitting at the passenger side of this new ES8. Uh, this queen's seat is an option by the way. And we can see that once I press the button here, the foot rest dropped automatically and I can adjust the seat. This one can come up and uh, I can lay down the seat as well. So the sitting position here will be really comfortable during long journey, right? Once you buckle up, you can have a good rest during the journey. Moreover, for those who need to take care of their baby, this seat can manually go to the backward of this car. By pressing the button here, we can go to the very back of this car so that you can take care of the baby who is sitting at the back seat. Really cool design of this passenger seat, side uh, seat, right? Comment down below about your idea. Do you like it or not? As I mentioned before, this is a very huge SUV. It's about the same size as the Audi Q7 or BMW X5. So uh, it is a lot of space back here. Lots of knee rooms, lots of head rooms. And this car is wide enough and I think we fine for even people sitting in the middle here. And because the floor is all flat, I think carrying three adults at the back seat at the second row would be absolutely no problem. And uh, these seats can move forward and backward too. This is the most backward position. At this position, the third row, we have, which we still have two seats, may not have enough room. So uh, when we need to leave some space for the third row, we can move forward a little bit. But you see the room here is plenty. Nothing to complain about the capacity here inside. So as a seven-seater SUV, space in the boot is also very important. Of course, it's a huge tailgate. It's powered by electric. As we can see here, the space in the boot is a lot, especially when the third row is not open. Of course, uh, however, if we raise up the third row, the boot capacity will be significantly reduced but you know for those seven seater in China most people hardly ever use the third row and uh, to be honest the third row is not suitable for adults it's only suitable for young children right and uh, inside here in the booth you can also see that this is another Chinese made electric vehicle it's a Xiaomi balance car so now let's close this tailgate as we move to the side of this car, we can see the charging port located to the both sides of this car. And on the right hand side, it is the fast charging port here. And for the slow charging port, it's on the left hand side. Unlike Tesla, which is integrated in the uh, one charging port together, but for Neo, they separated uh, in the front of this car. I think this, fun, this feature may be uh, very good in the States because people park their car driving but in China we tend to reverse to the parking space so that's only user habits so one disadvantage of Neo is that although being in 7-seater you have plenty of space in 
the car, in the cabin. But you know, as an EV, many EVs have a front trunk, which is also known as front, just like Tesla's, right? But for Neo, let's have a look. What does it have inside here? Well, it has nothing here. It is just a power source. The next EV power source is uh, its adapter, its battery management system here in the front. So there's no space in the front anymore, which is quite pity. But anyway, it has enough space back there, so no problem, I think. So one of the absolute advantages of NEO is that they have their battery swap stations. We can significantly increase the battery charging time for you, save a lot of time. And now we only have two kilometers of range left and we are heading to the battery swap station. By doing so, we can ask our friendly Nomi to help us navigate to the battery swap station. Hi Nomi. I'm and now we can place the order of the uh, battery swap station here on the infotainment screen. And now we can we can head to the battery swap station right now. Everything is in place. Let's go. So now we have arrived at the new battery swap station. It's just a black box at the back. And it takes approximately about six minutes to finish the battery swap process. And I will hand over this car to new staff here who will help us pop this car into the battery swap station. So now the new staff have already popped my car into the battery swap station. And now he will get out the car later and uh, the battery swap. Uh, will be completely automatic. So let's see how long does it take to swap the battery. Next part, I would like to talk about the driving experience of the Neo ES8. It is a very big family SUV and it's also equipped with air suspension, so the driving experience is very, very comfortable inside, much better than Tesla uh, Model Y, for example. And um, the steering wheel is really light and it's very friendly in in time driving condition as well, and as, as well as for powerful car this is uh, 635 horsepower it's really powerful although it's almost three tons it feels very agile uh, in city driving as well and uh, moreover i need to mention about its uh, nail pallet so in tesla we call it autopilot but in nail this nail pallet this is not standard uh, it comes as an option it's half of the price for fsd uh, the functionality of Neo Pilot is pretty good, much better than those traditional internal combustion engines competitor, such as Volvo and BMW. 
but for the leading player of the uh, driver assist system uh, for Tesla, it's still a little bit way for Neil to catch up with Tesla. And the detailed user experience of Neil Pilot and its competition with Autopilot, uh, we will talk about it during the interview. So, part. what is my final verdict on Neo ES8? I think this is one of the best Chinese made electric vehicles that is on sale on the market right now. And uh, in the future, it's very likely that Neo will export uh, its vehicles to foreign markets in Europe and also in Northern America. So, how do you feel about the Neo ES8? Please comment down below about your idea. If you enjoy watching my video, please like it, share it, and comment down below about any question you have related to Neo and also Chinese-made electric vehicles. So in my next video, I will make an interview with the actual owner of this Neo, who is also an owner of Tesla. So let's have a look about his idea and uh, which one uh, does he prefer. See you next week. Bye bye.